Hello everyone and welcome back to the History Boy 9. So today, um, just woke up, um, but we, as I didn't, yes, I am sorry, I didn't film Brighton versus Leicester, but I can tell you about it because I was just too excited with the win for Brighton. I was, I just, I'm sorry, okay, I, I'm really, uh, plus I'm not lying, I am not lying. I I I swear I'm not lying about the match, um, but I was going to see Newport County against Swindon, but they cancelled it because of the Queen. But I'm sure we we're not going to talk about the Queen for the moment, um, and but following on from what I'm saying about the match, it was a very good win. The penalty shootout for McAllister was great. We. So Leicester, they got first goal basically, and that you could hear them cheering. They, yeah, they got first goal, which, and my dad said, not a great start, <laughs> um, but it wasn't. Also, Swindon found here as well. I'm not just. So I've got my. This proves I I went to the match because I've got my scarf. Next, I'll be having a T-shirt, and the next match I'm seeing is Chelsea against Brighton. Breaking news for Brighton and Hove Albion. Brighton's manager has left Brighton. Wait, why is it look a bit strange? Hmm? It looks, oh, no. What is this? Okay, camera's a bit strange, so may need to stop recording one part. I think it's a bit blurry or something, but... um, Following on from what I said... Brighton basically lost their manager. He was my dad said he was the best manager ever, and now they've gone to Chelsea. So the next match when I go to see Brighton versus Chelsea, there's going to be a lot of booing for our manager. I'm I'm actually very angry that Chelsea has done this, and now I hate them for it. I hate them. They're just stealing away Brighton's manager. And um, even before Brighton's manager left. Um, my dad, he still said that, basically, that he knew that Chelsea was going to take Brighton's manager. So, yeah, very sad, very sad. <laughs> but that's basically all. And I'll talk, I'll, of course, I'll talk about the matches. So, Brighton versus Leicester. I do think Leicester, they played pretty well as, as well. I'm not saying that Brighton, or they're the best um Leicester, they played good as well. Um, they got first goal, then we got the second, then we got another one, then they got another one, and it was just really positive, good match for Brighton. So quite happy, quite happy with Brighton's win. So we're on the way back home. We got a McDonald's that was good and tasty to eat. Um, there were a lot of Leicester fans there as well. Um, I tried to make sure that. I couldn't be seen amongst the crowd because I said something that I think I shouldn't have said. It's, I said, if I walked in here with a Brighton shirt on, I would be. And then some Leicester fan turned around and my dad was laughing. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, but I don't know why, but I like people to know that I'm, I was there for some reason, so that's why I said some things about Brighton. Also, breaking news for Swindon, Harry McCurdy's left. Yep. He was a legend to Swindon Town FC. He was great. He scored a lot of goals for us. Um, kids at school said how, how he's just left now. He's gone to a Scottish team. So, I... I'm sure Evan wishes him the best of luck in his new football team. Um, hope he gets a lot of goals there. I know he's very good. Um, but, yeah, I promise you, next match, I I'll record it. But I said to my dad, I said, he pulled out his phone. He pulled it out. But then he, I said to him, are we allowed to film it here when the guards are around? So, and my dad, he thought about that for a quick second. Um, so we, we put it down, um, I got, and I saw Jamie Vardy, I could have got his, Jamie Vardy's autograph, he came out and I saw kids below us, he got 
um, an autograph for him, but I don't want to because he's a Leicester fa- he's a Leicester player. Not I was about to say fan then, so yeah. Also, I probably I'll probably do a lot more football uploads now. Um, very hard to say this. Haven't done much history lately. Um, which I've been doing history basically all my life now. But football, it's coming. Um, and to me, it feels good that you wait, that you basically find a new interest, such as you've got history and then you've got football now. And, yeah. And I'm very sad that now there's no more time for autographs for Harry McCurdy. So, But one day I'm hoping he'll, he'll come back. Um, Johnny Williams, oh, I love him. He is just, now that Harry McCurdy's gone, Johnny Williams is my favourite. It's just, he's got a beard and he's bald, which I think, yeah, I, I just like him for some reason. He's Again, he's a really good player. My granddad said he's a Welsh international or something. Um, yeah, so... And of course, don't forget, I'm of course a Swindon fan. Not only talking about Brighton here, um, that which is why I'm wearing my T-shirt here. Um, a lot of chanting going on at Brighton, and but Swindon's chants were louder. We, because Swindon, the chants are on this, or on oh my left and right. They always get me. The left side of the stadium is always the one that chants and shouts the most. And in the Amex Stadium, they're also le- the left side is the the stand that chants very loud. So I'm not sure football has a stand that chants the loudest, if it's like the left or right or, yeah, one of them. Um, but yeah, that's basically all, all I wanted to say, basically. Um, next will probably be a bit of Minecraft, because I... Because for my birthday, I got I got that. Also, I got Game Pass, which I got FIFA 22, which you've probably seen. Um, for FIFA 23, they'll probably have to make a few changes with Harry McCurdy. They'll probably now have to put him into a Scottish team. Um, but there'll be a few updates as well. This, my hair is getting really annoying now. I have to push it back, but it just comes down and down and down. I could see it from, like up there so it's coming down so uh, oh the front is why i really want to get trimmed off i really want i really want that to just go back a little bit yeah um but i've got i've got no time limit for this so i'm free to go as i want um so anything i need to talk about well I, I, believe it or not, next January, we're going to try to see Liverpool against Brighton. Yeah, which means I'm going to see Mo Salah, which, always heard of him, Liverpool, as a Liverpool fan. Um, always wanted to see them play to see how they play, because Liverpool is too far away from where I live, so we can't go see any of their matches. But still, I really like them. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Man United fans. I'm sorry, Cristiano Ronaldo. I'm sorry, Messi. Actually, PSG comes in second place for my favourite team. Man United comes last for some odd reason. I think Man United, they're they just they're just too favourited that I'm like I don't like Man United because they're the one who has most fame. But I, my in second place, I've got. Wait, right, first place, my favourite team is Swindon, of course. Second, Brighton, um, which is the Seagulls. Yep. I've got a massive banner. Wait. Um. Third, Liverpool. They're just great. Um. Fourth, PSG, Paris. They're 
probably just because they've got messy and I've, I've had my dream for a teenager to get a ferry to Paris to see um to see basically how basically how um basic basically how they play on see Neymar Mbappe M- Messi of course so that's prob- most likely probably going to be it for today. It's got the time limit, but I've got my breakfast right here, so I'm going to eat that. Um, very late breakfast, so uh, in England it's like... But it doesn't matter about time, it honestly doesn't, so 